Welcome back to Paladin. <clears throat> this is March of the Lich King card review uh, for Arena. I'm Adwikta. This is the Lifeforge Podcast. And this is going to be a long one. We've been trying to keep them under 12 minutes for the class reviews because it's just me right now. No Murps. Uh, Murps is uh, busy with his baby. Uh, but, um, well, okay. Uh, I, I messed up on the last one uh, for Mage because we didn't do the legendaries. So we're actually going to start off this Paladin review by doing Mage Legendaries. It's just a continuation of the previous one. If you want to listen to only Paladin stuff, like, I don't know, maybe skip the next minute or two. Um, and I skipped the Mage Legendaries because they're totally unimportant. So the first one is Vaxilus. It is a D tier card. It is a 5 mana, 3, 5 elemental. Your arcane spells cast twice. That's great at improving the damage, I guess, of your arcane bolts. Um, but otherwise, most arcane spells, you don't necessarily need to cast twice. Um, targets may not exist anymore if you're casting it twice. Uh, works good with some of them. Uh, but that 5 mana, 3, 5, you better have some synergies to make up for that. And how many synergies are you going to have? Probably not enough. That's why it's a low-rated card. The other legendary is Grand Magistrar Romoth, uh, also a D-tier card. Uh, nine mana, five, seven. Battlecry, recast each spell you cast this game that didn't start in your deck. So first, you have to generate these spells. Then, this guy recasts them with random targets. Like, these are not, these are not things that you want as a good player. They're all way too random, way too, uh, like, synergistic that you need to build the synergies for. There's a lot of ways to generate cards for Mage. Um, even not for Mage. There's just a lot of generation coming in between the Panda and the Bazaar and whatever. But this is dangerous. Like, maybe you do get some cards that are non-targeted, like the one that summons, like, five, six taunts or whatever, and you just casting it again will be awesome. But you're recasting each spell you cast this game. So that also includes all the arcane bolts, all the other random removals that you've been playing. And who knows where the hell they're going. So this is extremely dangerous in the best of case scenarios. Um, and possibly just like low value period. Um, not even with RNG, but just that you, you haven't casted enough spells for this 9 mana card to be worth it. So that's another D tier card. Okay, that's major. Now let's talk about what we actually are here for. Paladin. Paladin is super good. Super, super good in this expansion. And it is super good because of one card. It is a rare card, but it is an S tier card. If you guys forget what S tier cards do, because honestly, we haven't had a non uh, legendary S tier card in this set yet. And we will not again after this. This is the only S tier card in this entire set that is non legendary. And if you go back to Nathria, I want to see how many S tier cards we got in Nathria that were uh, non uh, that that were not legendaries. Um, you had Spirit Poacher from from Hunter before it got nerfed, and Wild Spirits was S plus plus again before they got nerfed. So these are cards that got nerfed. You also have Mischievous Imp, which is still an insane card. Like, that's the level we're talking about here. Um, no S tier, non legendary cards in Maw and Disorder. Going back uh, to Sunken City, S tier cards. These are all legendaries. No S tier cards in Sunken City, that besides legendaries. Um, yeah, like, there's just not a lot of S tier cards. Caverns is always our prime example of an S tier card, but like these are insane cards and they often get nerfed um, because they're so insane. So the one for Paladin is called Flight of the Bronze. It is a rare card, thankfully not a common, but rare cards, it's not like an epic or anything. Rare cards are still seen a lot. It is one mana spell, Discover a Dragon. Fair enough. Mana Thirst 7. Summon a 5 5 Drake with Taunt. So for one mana, if you're playing this card on turn 7 or after, which you may very well do, because remember, the card does nothing. The card is just like swapping itself for a dragon, right? So you have no real... And dragons are big anyway. It's not like you swap it for a dragon to play it. You probably can't play it until after turn 7 anyway. 
So if you play the card when you would normally be expecting to play this card, you get a free 5-5 five, five dragon with taunt. So on top of being a pretty damn good card to begin with, because dragons are good and get to discover ones, and the good dragons are really good, you then also get a free 5-5 five, five with taunt. A free 5-5 five, five with taunt. Just like there. Uh, I mean, there's really not much else to say about it. It's just an insanely good card. I wouldn't be surprised if this card was flat out banned in the arena. Like, assuming it doesn't get nerfed, it constructed even. Um, when it comes to discover stuff, usually arena gets hit harder because discovers are much more impactful in arena than in constructed because uh, your cards normally suck more and are less cohesive. So, I don't know. This card's just, it doesn't belong in this game. And remember, this is a very low power level overall um, rotation. So within this power level of a rotation, this card is going to stick out like a sore thumb. Like, Paladins can just ride this card to be a top class. Not that they need to ride this card to be a top class. They have plenty of other good cards. Uh, not just in this set, but in other sets as well. Uh, so, yeah. Light of the Bronze. Let's look at some other good Paladin cards. Here are some common Paladin cards that are good. So this one is a B plus, uh, a B plus card. So almost an A tier card. It's Seal of Blood, three mana, holy spell. Give a minion plus three plus three and Divine Shield. Deal three damage to your hero. Very good. I don't know what else to say. Three mana usually gives you plus three plus three and some like small little ability. Here you get a whole freaking Divine Shield. And yes, you take three damage. Um, another common card. Super good. Uh, Daring Drake. This one is a B tier card. Okay, maybe not super good, but better than the average card in your deck. The four mana, four, four rush. Battle cry. If you're holding a dragon, gain plus one, plus one. If you're a paladin, you should be holding some dragons. So then it becomes a five, five rush for four mana. Like, just insanely good. Um... There's actually not that many dragons in this uh, set. Like, like we said before, right? Lower than average, but not like no dragons by a long shot. So, and, and some of the dragons are paladin specific. The paladins are gonna have more than other classes. It's like, even a 4-4 rush is pretty good. Having the chance for it to be a 5-5 rush, very good. Um, okay, one more. Uh, one more B tier card. Sanguine Soldier. This is a rare card. One mana, two, one divine shield. Battle cry, deal two damage to your hero. So here's another way in which paladins can like temple out faster by taking damage to their face. This was not like, I mean, this is not a foreign paladin concept. You had that weapon that dealt damage to your face. Like paladins sometimes take damage and, you know, get tempo. Um, you typically think of it as a warlock thing, but paladins have been known to do it. Here, the set, they're really leading into it. And these kinds of things are very good at arena. <sighs> okay. So, uh, then there's some C-tier cards in arena, uh, in, for paladin, which is all the rest of their cards. They're all C-tier. Now, C-tier cards aren't great, but remember, they're still better than a Yeti. They're still, like, cards. They're not, like, bad. Uh, first one is Feast and Famine. Common spell, one mana. Give your hero plus three attack this turn. Mana thirst four and lifesteal. Okay, whatever on the lifesteal. It's one mana, deals three damage. Take a little bit of uh, face damage. Or don't if it's after turn four. Like, decent removal. Uh, next, for Quill Thalos. For Quill Thalos is a two mana rare spell, holy spell. Give a friendly minion plus three attack. Give your hero plus two attack this turn. It's two mana to deal two damage, and then you get three more attack on stuff. It's a little awkward, but that's a total of five attack for two mana. Um, it's a C tier spell. All right. Um, next up, Time Warden. 
these are the epic cards. This one's a C, four mana, three, five, dragon. A little understated. Battle cry. Until the end of your next turn, dragons you summon gain taunt and divine shield. Four mana, three, five, not so good, but hey, we're trying to do some dragon synergies, right? And this is until the end of your next turn. Time Warden doesn't have to stay alive. This is just an ability that's just out there. So, whatever dragons you summon the next turn or this turn, pretty much means whatever dragons you have, unless you're playing this on curve and are, you know, unable to play it with the mana, uh, they get Taunt of Divine Shield. So, this is a C. Taunt of Divine Shield is not, like, the best things in the world, right? Like, they're nice, but they're not, like, huge and ridiculous. Um, and you're probably not going to have multiple dragons and if you do they're probably gonna cost so much mana that you can't be playing them all uh but you're gonna get this to trigger probably at least once all right the other uh, uh epic card is blood crusader another c tier card six mana five five battle cry your next paladin minion this turn costs health instead of mana so you're already getting only a 5-5 five, five for 6 mana. So you need to make up, I don't know, 2 mana's worth of stuff. And then you're going to take some health penalties. And then you actually have to have a Paladin minion. Not just any minion, but a Paladin minion. But hey, it's another way to tempo out stuff with using your life. And that's always good. Um, so yeah, so that's a C. That's Paladin. It's a lot of temple stuff. It's a lot of dragon synergies. We know dragons are good in Arena. We know that uh, there's a number of dragons being added here, uh, including the Discover a Dragon card. And uh, other cards are fine. All very Paladin-y. It's all like, I don't know what else to say. They're kind of basic in the sense of all these cards they they you know even mage uh especially the other classes they just do what you think these classes are normally capable of doing anyway paladin's a bit more focused on dragons and tempo though so that's that's good in arena dragons are good in arena tempo is good in arena um and so that's uh it's gonna be a good combo uh legendary cards for paladin is first off uh blood matriarch liadrin two mana three two after you summon a minion with less attack than this give it divine shield and rush so this one comes out to be a b plus um it's a two drop and then divine shield and rush is good but unless you buff this you can only it only applies to things that are two attack or below. How many stuff that's two attack or below do you have? Your hero power works, uh, but then you get a one one rush divine shield. That's still not like the best thing. Um, it just depends on how much you can combo with this, right? And if you play it early, it's very likely to die soon anyway. So when you're not playing on curve, you can get a couple of extra hits in. Um, and that's nice, but it's not like super game changing. This is not an A tier card. This is a B plus tier card, but close. Uh, the other legendary card is Anachronos, which is a seven mana eight eight. Hey, that's very good. And then Battle Cry, send all other minions two turns into the future. So this is like a double sided freeze. It's essentially the same effect, only it also gets rid of any kind of persistent abilities on the board. It gets rid of taunt. Um, but, but that's basically the effect. And it's overstated too, a little. I'm, I, I don't really think 7 mana 8 8s are overstated. 7 mana 8 8s are kind of just what you should get. Like, I, I, if there was a card that was just a 7 mana 8 8, I don't know that it's better than a Yeti, right? Um, so yeah, this is a B tier card. All right, that's it for Paladin. Um, got a lot of uh, good stuff here in Paladin, as you expect for Paladin. And has a card that I think will be banned in Arena, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Flight of the Bronze is really just kind of ridiculous. The fact that it's rare may help. They haven't banned other ridiculous Paladin cards, really. So maybe this won't get banned. 
but and it'll just stay as an example of one more ridiculous paladin card um but yeah s tier cards s tier cards are rough man uh this is this is going to be a problem okay um we will pick up next with a priest um until then this is abukta see you in the next one